We are still at Wakusco Falls Lodge in Northern Manitoba. We are doing one of my favorite things to do on the ice, which is sight fishing. We got a head-to-head -head competition. We'll see who wins. All right, here's the breakdown. Me, Mr. Mark Tully, Alex Perrick, and Andrew Walker, Mr. Cass and Conquer. You're gonna have to watch their video to see how they did, but it's biggest fish. This they lake has rainbow bad. trout and brook trout. Mark's been on a losing streak, if you've been watching other competitions, and we're hoping to turn things around. I need a win. I FaceTimed my boys last night, and they said, Dad, stop losing. <laughs> I told them I ate a minnow. It was a low point for them. They said I might get sick. So we're coming back big win today. Yeah. I feel like we're gonna fish really relaxed. I do too. <clears throat> just hammer like one giant. Rock, paper, scissors to see who gets to pick their spot first. Be like, I'm great at rock, paper, scissors. Everyone, they go rock, paper, scissors, and when they don't think about it, they do scissors because they say scissors. So you hit them with rock every time is your first one. Winning strategy. Alec, get that little hand out. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, oh yes. he was eavesdropping! Yes. Reverse osmosis, baby! That's reverse psychology. Yeah! Well, we were already out here the other day. We did a quick quick test of the ice. Probably darn close to four inches. That is good ice, good clear stuff. You don't want yeah. the milky stuff. This is quite strong, but it can be inconsistent throughout the lake. So we're checking as we're going. I feel comfortable with this. If you don't feel comfortable with this, then wait till it's six or seven inches, but we're gonna go ice fishing. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're gonna do right now is we talked about where we're gonna fish and we're gonna do a little speed burst past these guys. There's a beaver cache here, which beavers, they cut down a bunch of trees during the uh, summer and they store them under the water for the winter. It's just like thin branches spread out and that attracts a lot of life like bugs, minnows, rainbow trout. All right, here we go, we're taking off. Look at Alex struggling with the e-bike. Okay, we're gonna go over to the moose nest over there and they're gonna struggle. You know, we might catch more fish a little bit deeper. And this is a competition, but we want you guys to be able to see the fish, so. So we're on the edge of some weeds there, and it's, I think this is pretty good. I, 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 yeah. We are fishing out of the 650 Limited, the plaid version. Fish can't see in the plaid. Plaid is the OG camo. You push it down to the deeper side. Oh no. Oh, no. Well, that's good ice. Yeah. They're printing good ice over here and it just floats away under. All right, sight hole set up. Like I said, we're in the Eskimo 650 XD. This is my favorite pop-up shack they make, but it's perfect size for sight fishing. We're a little on the shallow, little on the shallower side than I was fishing yesterday, but the thing about sight fishing is you do want to be quiet. These fish are spooky. Okay, I'll give you the dinner bell. I'll use the rattle bait. This is cool. This is actually like, a mostly black jig, but just those little dots just pop. They glow so good. The dragonfly glows too. It's good. It's even got some lint on it, so it's halfway to a hair jig. And then you see those? They're just screaming at us. You got a copy? Got a copy? I mean, I know we didn't set a starting time. Three, two, one. We're about to drop in the next minute or two here. Oh, they... It won't be a minute. We are now fishing. Repeat, we are now fishing. Lines are in the water for the sight fishing smash. Congrats to the winners, Jay Siemens and Mark Telly on first place with a 29.5 inch rainbow trout. Mark just lost him. Oh man, he's back. He missed it. Yes, baby, yes. On the board, oh. on the board. Oh. Here we have a mantle of brook trout, our first on the board. It's a big fish challenge, so. That's a nice brookie. 12 inches, maybe a touch over, but hopefully this is not the one that we need. 12 inch brook trout on the board. There she goes. That's how I want every fish to act. It's a super duper day so far. We are off to a smashing start with one fish, which is a lot better than no fish. Yep, agreed. We are on the board, we are on the board. Was it 30 inches? Was it seven inches? Was it nine inches? Was it 27 inches? Who knows? Wait for the video to find out. We're back in incognito mode. That was, that made me feel good about the tantrum. Yeah. How he really liked it. It feels like he came in for it. He gave me the first chance in the dinner bell, but his true love, you know, if you love something. You let it go. Yeah, I love that, how like that wobble on the way down on your little tangent. Yeah. It's crazy how it can be so little and still just wobble so good. Go down the list of the things we love in life, okay? You go first. Side fishing. Okay. My wife. Okay. My kid. Okay. Two cats. You love any two cats? Well, Judy and Rudy. Judy and Rudy are nice cats. 
I hear the e-bike coming. There's Alex. Get a stick and put it in his spokes. Dude, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Got him. Got him. Got him. Mark. Holy. Oh, man. This is the one. Holy smokes. Yes. Jeez, that's got to be 25. Oh, that is a good one. Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh. Hey, Alex. Nice to see ya. While we were setting up, Andrew had one choke his dinner bell, and he just was looking the other way. Like, he came out of nowhere, choked the dinner bell, like, one of the biggest fish we've seen all trip. Really? And just spit it out and went away. Oh, no. Is that the only one you've seen? Yeah. Let's see what the time frame is, and we can decide how long we want to stick it out until we move deeper. I think I should just go cut the hole right away so we're not making noise. Oh, that's a good idea. Great idea. Good strategy, Mark. Mark's going to drill the other side fishing hole. By drill, I mean cut with that big old ice saw. Yep, big one. Good one, Mark. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Get out. I need an assist. Oh no. I'm zipped out. Grab the net. Ah. I'll slide him your way. <laughs> it's in. It's in. There we go. Those colors are popping. Sunrise rainbow. It's prime time, baby. Look at that. That's a nice one. Pinch that tail, it's a 20. Yeah. 20 incher, Manitoba master angler. Yee yee. Nice. Ooh, ooh baby, ooh, ooh, feisty, ooh, ooh. feisty. Yes. He came in in just 100 miles an hour. Like yeah. it was just like all of a sudden the fish was on. I love it. Well boys, we have a 20 incher on the board. 20 inch rainbow trout, Manitoba master angler. Well, here we have Mark Tully. Mark, is there anything you want to say to the other team? Uh. Hi, other team. How are you guys? The trail came from the shallow side. The trail came from underneath you. Interesting. Right. They won't even see us moving. Oh, wow. It's like the sun just came up from behind a cloud. Yeah. And the brightness just turned up. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Oh, big one. That's a, that's a bruiser. Yeah. Oh, man. You can see the weeds moving from it. I didn't know if I should move it more. Like yours though, he should be back. That one was probably an inch or two bigger. I would say he looked really good. I didn't know if I should have got him more lit up or just held it still because he never really seemed charged. Yeah. Oh, that rainbow would have been sick. I know, I know, Jay. If it was me, I would have caught him. I know, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to tell you to do. I know. Are you gonna grab the minnow off the surface? I'm very tempted to grab him. He's wiggly. <laughs> Mark's gonna fall in the hole. I don't know, do you have one bigger than 26? You have a 26 incher? Sir, I didn't say you have a 26 incher, I just said you have one bigger than 26. We got one. How big was it? You'll have to watch the video. Oh. Okay, do you want to move? Look at that sneaky move. Fish didn't even see him coming. Oh, there's one. Brookie coming in. Got him. Mark is reaching for the jerky. Yeah. Now we're on oh. him. Oh, that one's pulling a little bit. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Things are getting wild. Whoa. Just free willy right out of the sight hole. Okay, good. Super. That can happen real quick. We're on more of a sand, more of a sand bottom here. Mm-hmm. We're right on a weed edge. The moose nest is behind us, aka Beaver Lodge. Wow. No, no. I dropped my jerky. Okay. Woo. Woo. That's why you always- I'm on. Oh. We got a double, double, double. Ooh, nice brookie. 
Okay, I'm gonna pop mine back in here. Sweet. Wow. Things are happening. Look at that. Light hitting that. Beautiful brookie. Wow, that was like a flurry of activity. Oh, oh, I almost got one. You see that? Man, that rainbow was in a different mood than the other one, eh? Or maybe it's the same one he just decided to eat. I think he was smaller, it felt like. Yeah. We just caught two fish at the exact same time. I mean, we did the same thing. I'm just not bragging about it. Let's get the, bur let's get the birding app going. Are you guys into this? Is your fan base into birds? Yeah. Okay, here we go. This always helps me be quiet, too. Because when it's running, if I'm talking, it doesn't hear the bird. Nice rainbow. Okay, should I drop down to double up? Uh, I don't think so. What is that? What is, what is that out there? What is that? Oh, that's, that's my birding app. I was trying to identify what bird we were listening to. This is hilarious. I think, I think this could be our biggest. Oh, he likes that. When you tickle their tail, it's like they think you're gonna trap them and take them to SeaWorld for the rest of their life. They just go. Oh yeah, this is it. I can feel it. I can it. feel it. Oh, your feelings were a little off. <laughs> sure. The first time. And then I touched his tail. I should not have... Oh, there's a brookie. Double down, double down, double down, double down. Double up, double down, double sideways. This fight is ridiculous. What's with these brookies following the rainbows? Yeah. Oh, he missed it. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Watch this. This is the coolest thing ever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. Stay out of my way, Jay. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my. He's unhooked. This is great. Let him go. Let him grow. No, no, no. Oh, no. Okay, okay, okay that's actually a good idea. This, this recreational angling is getting a little too recreational. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's pretty long. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Oh, happy day. Look at that. He's thick all the way back to this, whatever they call that back fin on the bottom. Okay, wiggle, jiggle, jaggle, jog. You'll have to trust me on the measurement. Yeah, oh yeah, that's 21. Is it 21? Yeah. All right, 21. Upgrade. Okay, feeling great. We'll do a... Quick little release there. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Thanks, that was buddy. That was great. I caught a fish in the midst of all that. Can you believe that? How funny were the bird calls? Like, <laughs> yeah, the bird calls going off. I was like, there's something right behind me outside this tent. <laughs> yeah, Brookie, yeah, I, I teased up pretty high. Oh, this hole's been good. Mm -hmm. Like, live scope is cool. This is so much cooler than live scope. Mm -hmm. This is why we're not looking at the camera much. It's just like... We're looking at the biggest screen you'll ever have yep. and it's free yeah you could make this with a chisel you don't need the fancy i saw the other thing you can do too if you don't have a tent to black things out is you can just cut a normal size hole and put the jacket over your head i did a lot of that as a kid mm -hmm. it works great Okay, so this is our third spot of the day. We decided to move a little deeper midday. Um, it got a little sunnier. I was thinking the fish might push out a little deeper, but I'm no trout specialist. But we kind of caught them everywhere the other day here. So you know what? We forgot Ryan Gainer is an angel. Cameraman extraordinaire. Deli <laughs> ah! Do they float or sink? It's 50-50 with oh, pop. Oh man. Did you do that on purpose? No. We can't leave it. Oh. oh, oh! it's vertical. We could get that tab. This is a learning lesson. I hope Jay learns his lesson. That was the worst. No, it's like 10 feet deep. I got it. Oh. This is, you gotta grab it before it gets close. Right then. Oh. <laughs> All right. 
That, what a moment, hey? You know what, it's gonna taste that much sweeter. I'm gonna crack this Pepsi there. I can't believe we hooked it. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. Cheers. I want that one now, actually. Can you pass it back to me? I'm just Good, how are you? Great. Hey, how are you? Come on in. You're lucky that you just heard Pepsi's there. How are you? How's it going? Yeah. Come on in. What's your name? I'm Brian. Brian, nice to meet you. Mark. Mark, nice to meet you. Yeah, check this out. Nice to meet you. Pepsi. Yeah, so, I, saw the, I saw the load of Pepsi's. Oh, there. okay. <laughs> you, you knew we were Pepsi guys from a mile away. We just dropped one down the hole and we're like, oh man, we need to fish it out. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this, this one just sunk. <laughs> it was, it was uncracked and Jay like snagged it by the tab. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We should, we can come out if you need to check stuff. It's uh. We just don't want to all be in one spot. So the good boys from Manitoba Conservation just checked up on us. They, luckily, we didn't get the littering fine for that Pepsi in the hole. Yeah, just checking up on us. Nice to have. Nice young guys doing their thing. Yeah, those are the people that are gonna save you when things go south. <laughs> okay, well here we go. I can get my first sip. Cheers. Oh, it's like syrup. It's so cold. It feels like it's like thicker because of it, hey? Yeah, well mine's, yeah, you're sat at the bottom of the lake, or no, mine did. That's it, that's a wrap. To find out who won, well, you'll have to watch the other guy's video. Looks like uh, Mark has lost once again. <laughs> <laughs> They're claiming they caught a bigger fish than us. We can't confirm it without watching the video, so I will link their video below. Guys, check out Northern Manitoba, Wakusco Falls Lodge, Huntfish MB. If you're looking to plan a trip, they've got lots of different accommodation options, blog posts, links to videos, interactive maps, Master Angler Program. Thanks for watching. We're gonna win. We're winners. See you in the next one. Next lake. Be safe on the ice, guys. Please be safe on the ice. That's a wrap.